Sleep mediates the association between concussion and depressive symptoms. This, um, we have, we see that people with concussion, you know, can have depression later on. And what the conclusion then is concussion causes depression. And especially when you're looking at like, let's say former athletes and things like that, that may, you know, let's say commit suicide and you say concussions led to depression. This study looked at how to sleep influence the depression that people suffer post-concussion. And they found that, that um, concussion caused sleep dysregulation. Sleep dysregulation was what caused depression in these cases. So within the mediation model, concussion history significantly rep- predicted sleep quality and sleep quality significantly rep- predicted depressive symptom severity. The association between prior concussion and depressive symptom severity was fully mediated by sleep quality. With inclusion of the indirect effects, concussion history did not predict depressive symptom severity. Current findings raise the possibility that the greater risk of depression reported in those with a history of concussion is mediated by sleep quality, a common sequelae of MTBI. These findings highlight potential opportunities for prophylactic sleep-related intervention among individuals with multiple prior concussions to mitigate the risk of depression. So we have a little clinical relevance square here. Insomnia, we might be able to treat, right? We can treat people for sleep dysregulation by what they eat, how they prepare for bed, what they do during the day, how they exercise, what their heart rate variability is like, how their autonomic nervous system is functioning. We can do things to influence sleep. And if we can do things to influence sleep, potentially we have an impact on depression and mental health.